Um, but if I'm the only one who doesn't speak real French? No, you're not the only one. That's part of that. So, um, we had that morning a nice uh, first component of, uh, of this track that we called uh, an OSM journey into Francophone uh, South Country, uh, mainly Western Africa. We are going to leave IT for uh, a side and uh, we wanted to, uh, to talk about a second component which is, uh, which is fundamental if, uh, if we want to bring uh, OpenStreetMap to uh, a certain level of, uh, of robustness and uh, massivity in those areas, which is about how once people uh, got skilled, trained and active about OpenStreetMap, how some of those mappers are uh, willing to uh, create economic value with that. How oh, can they do that uh, without, um, without compromising uh, the voluntary dynamic that uh, is also part of, uh, of OpenStreetMap? And how oh, they can uh, create economic value while uh, contributing to uh, the comments of the project and to uh, the OSM ecosystem. So there is no there is no silver bullet. There is no simple schemes. What we managed to uh, to identify uh, years after years uh, in uh, in Western Africa mainly um, is uh, the following uh, the following setup. So we we know that we've got three levels of. Um, of activities within OpenStreetMap. We've got one level of activity which is at the community, which is freely individual based or collective based, which, which somehow is, uh, is, uh, is a way of money. And uh, we've got a level of activity that happens at the level of an OpenStreetMap collective or an, an OpenStreetMap association representing the project. Uh, nationally within one country and uh, but not uh, realizing economic project per se and we've got uh, an area which is an area an arena where people uh, individual or uh, or economic structures are creating values using OpenStreetMap totally or partly uh, to carry out projects and uh, those projects and those activities can uh, can be uh, around creation of data can be around uh, training can be around documentation can be around software development can be a mix of everything can be uh, some uh, advice on how to switch to OSM or to use OpenStreetMap for uh, institutional entities or uh, that can be also a sort of mentoring uh, mechanisms to uh, to help a group switching to OpenStreetMap and uh, here what we're going to uh, to show is a sort of model that uh, that we managed to uh, to get rolling in Burkina Faso in 2015 with uh, experienced mappers from uh, the OSM project in uh, in that country so basically in uh, in Burkina in 2015 if you want to have a snapshot of how things were at that moment uh, we had a series of uh, of active mappers who managed to uh, reach to certain technical and organizational level we had an ongoing uh, structuration process for OpenStreetMap to be uh, uh, a recognized uh, legal associations and entity speaking for OSM and uh, we had some resources uh, there were some hardware equipment there were workspace and uh, there were also uh, some um, uh, some partners uh, and uh, and regular community activities uh, and somehow the, the field was ready for, uh, 
some projects to happen. And we managed to strike uh, us, uh, Les Libres Géographes, a relation with uh, Terre des Hommes, who has a strong project in, um, in, uh, in Burkina Faso about, um, about uh, mapping, uh, not mapping, but about health districts. And, uh, and so the idea has been to, uh, to support this, uh, this project that Terre des Hommes was running with uh, the local health government to uh, provide diagnosis capacities and support to uh, um, health facilities, the first a line of uh, of um, of health resources in uh, in Burkina Faso, and uh, they needed for that to have um, geographical data uh, on the health facilities themselves, but also on the surrounding of the health facility, uh, the settlements where the health facility was in, was located, uh, roads, and uh, also any kind of uh, of, uh, of river crossing uh, with roads and seasonality. So at the same moment, uh, they wanted that, uh, that, um, that's, that data needs to, um, to be produced um, under uh, open data. And the OSM license was something that, that was fine for them. They wanted to acquire the know-how and uh, have every element of the mapping project being uh, a, um, some free documents, freely accessible for themselves, but also for partners. They wanted to have their surveyors uh, being trained on OpenStreetMap. And they also wanted uh, all the resources uh, being created and, uh, and accessible as open data for anyone. So that was for their uh, core deliverable uh, expectancies. And uh, on top of that, they wanted to support uh, the OpenStreetMap project in Burkina Faso. So basically what we end up was... Uh, to create a pilot project with them, whereby uh, we would have um, on uh, three health districts uh, a mapping project set up to answer their needs, uh, train the surveyors and mentor them, and um, and also support the OpenStreetMap uh, group from Burkina Faso. So basically, um, the way that the things has been set up was uh, that you had uh, Terre des Hommes was ultimately the client. Um, they contributed their support to OpenStreetMap Burkina Faso by renting Burkina OSMBF workplaces and equipments. It was one way for them to secure funds to the, uh, the local uh, chapters. They had no way to do that otherwise, so that was the, the only way that we managed to identify at that moment. Um, OpenStreetMap Burkina Faso uh, was not able at that time, it wasn't constituted just to, uh, to, be, uh, to be a partner and a legal entity uh, able to receive uh, that, uh, that money. So we had uh, an institutional vehicle that has been uh, a free software uh, associations uh, that decided just to, uh, to be the contractor of uh, Terre des Hommes and they would be the contractor for gaining that support to SMBF, but also all the operational fees from the project. Terre des Hommes was going to hire directly uh, three mappers from, uh, from OpenStreetMap from open Burkina Faso through an open hiring process. And uh, LLJ uh, was in charge of the overall uh, project design, implementation, coordination, and we decided to do that for, uh, for free uh, as volunteer activity to support uh, both OpenStreetMap Burkina Faso and that use of Terre des Hommes, that switch of Terre des Hommes into OpenStreetMap. 
uh, so basically that's uh, that's oh the things uh, the things worked uh, the project uh, has been a fairly long one. Uh, it lasted something like six months from uh, the project, uh, the first talks until the implementations. It has been successful in terms of uh, both creating uh, all uh, the mapping document of the mapping project and, uh, and in uh, delivering training, delivering the mentoring, and creating the geodata. So it's something like 116 uh, health center that has been mapped over uh, 1,300 uh, 1, kilometers of highway, of way, of, uh, of roads, uh, 320 bridges or uh, fjords mapped, and over 235 localities. Uh, in terms of uh, the data is and was on OpenStreetMap, uh, so freely uh, accessible. Uh, we had in terms of visualization a UMAP uh, showing all the data. We also had uh, the data and uh, a visualization of the data into uh, and uh, data infrastructures and uh, all the all the the mapping kit uh, was also delivered as uh, as those uh, those elements so basically uh, through that uh, through that process uh, you managed to uh, organize an activity which at as its origin into the data activity around the OSM activities carried out by a collective of, uh, of local mappers, uh, which allows for uh, partners or people just to be aware of, uh, of that activities. You've got people that reach a certain technical organizational level, and that allows then uh, the possibility of creating a uh, a project, uh, an economic, an economic project, which will allow for the people that uh, are going to be hired or active into the process, based on their engagement into uh, OpenStreetMap and their activities, uh, to jump into the process, into the project, be part of the design, the implementation, the reporting phase, and gain. Uh, an expertise in terms of project engineering, project management, uh, as well as overall coordination within a mentoring umbrella, which uh, which was cathed forth by uh, Le Libre Geographe. And uh, while expanding the base of new mappers by training new surveyors or partners of, uh, of Terre des Hommes, that's one way of having a new solid relationships created with one partner of the OpenStreetMap ecosystems. And at the same moment, uh, the people that have been mapping and that were the most active outside of any project scheme and any, uh, any, uh, any money are the ones that receive some, um, some, uh, some income and will then be in a position just to continue uh, their uh, volunteering support to, uh, to the OSM project. Uh, the comments of the OSM project are also catered for in that model in the way that uh, there was some, some money that uh, was channeled through uh, OSM Burkina Faso. That was in 2015. And Actually, the money that has been made through that project in 2015 is uh, still there in 2018 and is still something that helped OpenStreetMap Burkina Faso to carry out uh, activities and cover uh, some small expenditures that, uh, that uh, they have to, uh, they have to, uh, to, uh, to use for, uh, for carrying out their activities. So. Basically, this is one way that uh, that we manage to uh, that we identify and one one organization scheme for uh, harnessing a voluntary dynamics and uh, reinforcing 
through uh, an economic project, uh, being cautious that uh, both technical and organizational expertise has to come to new mappers, that a community has to grow, a uh, basis of partners has to grow, and that uh, common resources for OpenStreetMap has to has to come, and in the way that it has been set up, uh, the local OSM collective is not uh, organizing the project itself, since it's an OpenStreetMap Foundation chapters, which primary goal is not to uh, work as a consulting firm, but just. Uh, be active uh, promoting uh, OpenStreetMap, eventually running trainings, but not uh, not using, uh, not not uh, implementing project per se. And at the same moment, while supporting that local chapters, you've got one way of making uh, a clear path for uh, local mappers on how individually or collectively through a, a setup to receive uh, some money and to make money out of the expertise that they acquired on OpenStreetMap through voluntary work, through training, or through other projects. So that was one, uh, one example uh, and one model uh, that more or less can be uh, mobilized uh, shall uh, uh, discussions around using OpenStreetMap uh, is kicking off in uh, in that area, and uh, we're going to uh, to showcase two other work that uh, we carried out with uh, with LLJ and uh, and local mappers uh, that are more or less based on the same uh, on the same uh, on the same approach. So I'm done at this moment. Uh, how did you handle the um, the situation that money is coming in in a, in a community, right? You, you, you have, there some people will be benefit, some not. Um, how was the decision taken? Um, I personally had also the experience that, that suddenly when money comes in, very idealistic and very valuable contributor would go away because it's against principles maybe and so on. So, so, so how were you managing that money was not, um, separating people. So, um, luckily, uh, the way that the things were set up uh, was one way to, uh, to use money uh, and not to be divided by money. Um, the decision to uh, to, uh, to hire uh, mappers uh, was a decision that was made by uh, Terre des Hommes themselves through the formal process of hiring people uh, through an open, um, an open hiring process with very clear criteria. And that was broadcasted on uh, the various forum and, uh, and communication channel of uh, OpenStreetMap in Burkina Faso. And uh, when you look at the people that were brought onto the project, basically they were the best mappers uh, from uh, from Burkina Faso at the moment without any discussion. So that part uh, was managed through meritocracy and uh, clear criteria for uh, the position. Uh, now the handling of the money uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's management for uh, the community the, the, the community support by uh, Terre des Hommes to OSM, uh, OSM Burkina Faso was managed uh, through uh, that uh, supporting entity at Royal BF and, uh, and then uh, OSM Burkina Faso uh, incorporated 
So they were just receiving the money and uh, managing it. And since OSMBF as an association has been properly managed, then the money was, uh, was managed by, I mean, an entity. Uh, maybe some people were not pleased with the way that this money has been managed, but that was something that was happening within one, uh, one structures, which was gathering and is still gathering at the moment the most active mappers in, uh, in Burkina Faso. Uh, then no one in, uh, in Burkina Faso was against the fact of uh, being paid uh, for doing... Uh, project work with OpenStreetMap or with, uh, with GIS the same way that in France you've got, you've got people that, uh, that are skilled in, uh, in OpenStreetMap or uh, in, uh, in free software, free GIS, open data and uh, that thinks that this is okay just to make a living out of this expertise. So this is how the, the money question is, uh, is being dealt with within that approach. Another question? Or shall we move to uh, another project? That's okay? Any questions about Cartier and boundaries, uh, Rafa? <laughs> no, huh? Okay, so let's move to Cartier Inov. No, Cartier Inov. So now I will present to you the Cartinov project. Um, it's, uh, as the title says, a uh, co collaborative and open mapping project regarding <coughs> digital innovation stakeholders within the southern um, French speaking countries, part of the Francophonie. That's a project. Um, that the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie uh, uh, is funding, has been funding since um, 2016. Uh, if you uh, attended this, this morning uh, our presentation that you, you may know now that uh, we have been working uh, with them uh, since 2013. And so two years ago, uh, they asked us if we we could help them to to create a map of digital uh, stakeholders uh, within the the organization. And uh, so they asked um, our collective, the the Libre Geographe, the Free Geographers. And uh, we think about it, and uh, we 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 concluded that we we could do that. It was, uh, I mean, regarding the the map features, we could do that in OpenStreetMap, uh, and using uh, and we propose them to use 
uh, only uh, community-based tools within the uh, OSM ecosystem. So um, they were uh, they agreed with that. They were uh, uh, so the the project started in uh, in 2016 uh, with two aims. Uh, what well, the first one was um, promoting initiatives uh, with the, the through through this project for uh, um, technical creation, digital innovation within this uh, francophone area and uh, help the numbers of exchanges be between these uh, the stakeholders. So, in brief summary, uh, the benefits of this project is that, one, the map is produced locally. Uh, you may find um, some maps regarding digital innovation that are actually made uh, through uh, geocoding data uh, that's been gathered I mean, it's data uh, through a data scramble and it's not very accurate in the field. Uh, we, during the discussion with uh, the, the OIF, we ended um, uh, working uh, through uh, eight categories to cover the different kind of uh, innovation stakeholders we, you, you, you may find in the, in the field. So I already say that the location is, is really accurate, made by, by local mappers. And the, the data is hosted in OpenStreetMap, almost all of it. And say that there are some uh, pictures or logos that are stored in a different um, separate database. And also we wanted uh, a simple editor to allow non-OSM specialists to uh, be involved, to contribute to uh, to the the data, to make this this map alive and up to date. So, in the in its first year, uh, this project involved only seven countries. The one we had more direct links uh, through all these. Uh, um, building capacities uh, project we, we have been uh, running since 2013. So Senegal, Mali, Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, Togo, Benin, and Niger. And in, it has been growing up the last two years. So we have now uh, 16 uh, uh, countries. Uh, and so we are um, not only in Western uh, Africa, but also in Central Africa and also in the uh, Caribbean with Haiti and uh, Indian Ocean with uh, Madagascar. And in each of these countries, there's one or two uh, person that are the local reference of the country that we promote the, um, the project and they, we carry out all the, um, also the, the mapping uh, activities. So, Obviously, they are part of the uh, the most uh, part of the most active people in uh, in uh, each of these uh, OSM communities in um, in these uh, sixteen countries. And they 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 handle uh, work sessions. Uh, Generally, there is uh, two or three workshops during during which they will uh, explain the project and they will um, exp uh, teach the the people to use the the tools. It's the the audience is both uh, innova uh, digital innovation stakeholders and uh, and uh, students. And the result is the, um, is broadcast on the Réseau francophone de l'innovation and now uh, as I said the data is collected in, in OpenStreetMap. I will present the map huh? obviously. Uh, so the, the eight categories we have is the first aid for business creation everything that is related to incubators, nurseries etc. Investors 
uh, banks, insurance, especially all the the ones that are directly running uh, funding projects uh, specifically for digital innovation. Companies related to to digital innovation, of course, not company that just using computers, but really um, uh, running up um, digital stuff. All the third work places, co-working spaces, fab lab, community places that you may find that are growing up in uh, in Africa. Techno parks, there are very few. I think there is just one in, in Senegal. And all the public in institutions, state services, international organizations, and also the national foreign agencies that are generally uh, more and more involved in digital uh, innovation, um, especially in um, promoting it and uh, or organizing uh, working sessions. All the academics involved in um, in digital innovation or digital teaching and uh, the NGOs as well that um, are uh, running activities in this field. So we also add a um, kind of um, detailed description of uh, every of these, uh, of these places. There is the most uh, critical one, this um, description in 255 uh, characters uh, describing uh, what the, the 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 place does what we call in France Lens is the um, innovation uh, digital innovation places and all their the, the contact that of creation their address uh, etc a lot of uh, sub tags uh, sub tags and we also can store uh, logo and, and 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 pictures so as i said in uh, 2016 uh we decided to um to work on a on a simple editor at, at the very beginning we we had the idea maybe to um to to enhance uh umap but uh at the, at, at that time in uh the state of the map in france in 2016 the there was the first official presentation of uh, map contrib this new um editing project and uh we met the the team and uh, we agreed on helping them funding uh, their uh, their tool to 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 get some improvement uh, for to cover the 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 needs of uh, of OIF for for this uh, for this tool and so uh, from from last year in 2017 uh, the people could use uh, uh, map country an enriched version that has been also spread out. It's not uh, just for the, for the project, but uh, all the, the improvement are uh, obviously shared with the, the community. And uh, until now, the, the data is, um, is hosted. Oops, sorry. I think I've lost it. A new map. Yes, I still have the connection, so let me show you. Innovation. This one. 
just reboot my computer and this one um, Sorry, we don't have any mo any internet. Um, so this is the resulting uh, uh, UMAP. Uh, this is currently the the UMAP is used for uh, uh, to display the the final uh, the final data. But this year um, it will be totally replaced by um, by uh, Map Contrib that will um, handle both uh, the editing part but also the the um, the final map uh, with an enhanced uh, user interface allowing filtering and uh, uh, and uh, data download etc. And also also uh, for the uh, the administrative uh, person in charge of uh, monitoring the data there will be. 
uh, an improvement to to check all the the coming data and to and to have some um, uh, some some tools to um, to check all so all, all the 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 new nodes uh, that has been um, um, collected and uh, edited uh, through um, through uh, this version of uh, of map contrib uh, so that we have uh, an internal administrative control of the data made by uh, the contributors um, that's for the the technical part uh, what is important an important thing to, to emphasize is um, that Skatinov is also one of these projects like Yeda, like other like Cohesion, that involves uh, the local OSM community uh, and make, make collectively and individually grow uh, through uh, these kind of projects where they have, where they are in charge of uh, promoting uh, OpenStreetMap, promoting project based on OpenStreetMap, and be hired uh, to um, to address some some needs regarding promotion, regarding data collection, etc. So, it uh, Katinov participates in this uh, in this way of uh, creating, building up capacities, but also creating links between communities because there's links. Uh, between all these uh, these reference people uh, working in, um, uh, through the the Katinov project, uh, through social medias, through Twitter, and uh, you can see that today there is a, uh, one of these workshops organized in um, DRC, and uh, last week it was in uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, it was in um, Benin. Any question? Okay. So what was the um, relationship or the involvement of the communities explicitly um, on mapping? So you said that in this project you were focusing on a certain topic in different countries and um, yeah, I'm just curious on the resources who mapped and um, how close you, 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 you were talking about the closeness to the technical parts. What was the closeness to the, to the communities? Um, so regarding resources, uh, this this project has been made so far with the small resources. So uh, the uh, both for for the um, administration uh, coordination, and also for the the people involved in the field. Uh, so the the mapping has been made uh, generally n not every time, but uh, only in the capital cities and, uh, as a start. And uh, so e we, our collective, the Libjagraf, we we were in charge to organize that. We we selected the people that we we trust to to be able to to promote the project, to to uh, be uh, efficient, uh, to to present project on, on, on to uh, I mean to meet directly in their offices. Uh, the the, these uh, data innovation stakeholders, and uh, to invite them to uh, to the the, wor the workshop they, they run in the in January in the free open space to the this kind of um, of uh, of activities, and uh, so it's on the community base is really it depends some sometimes there was just one person sometimes this person uh, wanted to to involve more person uh, in, in, in both in the field or both during the workshop sometimes it was uh, two people working together it really depends on the the, the situation on the, I mean on the individuals how they want to I mean to, to manage that it's really a part-time activity uh, for for them uh, during a, a couple of three months these kind of things and uh, we, we want uh, generally it's 
it's an opportunity uh, as there are uh, OSM community members to make I mean to promote OpenStreetMap not only this this project but as also this project is strongly uh, grounded in OpenStreetMap so they, they they can promote the project to the these stakeholders and make them uh, I mean uh, discover or maybe adopt uh, OpenStreetMap yeah. Uh, in the future, if there, uh, the, the OIF uh, continues uh, uh, supporting this project, we, we would like them to, uh, uh, to, to fund I mean, larger workshops in, um, that, that would um, uh, allow, for example, to not only to focus on uh, editing uh, with map country map country for for cutting off but also the people to discover map country to uh, create their own uh, their own project to collect other pois etc